savings really help you understand how you can fund your passion what are some of the real realities that people should know about when you choose to become an artist my work is such that i am doing things that excite me and i get to live this beautiful life today you can become an artist a musician a comedian a writer so in this series we'll explore alternative careers instead of asking what why and when we'll ask about the how how did they start their career how did they land their first gig how much did they earn in the beginning and how they went from nothing to something their journey from zero to one so let's begin with the og of music art dance harun robert also known as robert the art guy so in the last 10 11 years right we have had the opportunity of meeting some really really exciting people in very very different industries and they've all fortunately become like very dear friends and these are artists musicians food bloggers uh, entrepreneurs people who've really made a career by doing things that were slightly more unconventional and really beat the resistance like you know who rob is right yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. art attack right maddy Mad. The one who used to make a lot of crafts and paintings and all. The cap. School से आते ही यही देखते थे। मैं फिर इसको उसको stick करके मैंने wall पे लगाया था। You know I used to copy that and show it in the class. Love your work. I you made my childhood really special. He's doing art installations. He's doing murals. He's doing DIY stuff. He's been on TV. but he's also now a youtuber we're meeting the man behind the madness the the real the real deal he's the he's the og of this uh, of this industry as we know it and uh, i'm very excited for all of us to like jam with him look What at up, that man it's happened oh my god what is this place bro kya bhai are you So happy to have you here, man! Like, thank you. It's finally happening. <laughs> no, oh. right? This come, is come, come. so beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my God, brother! I love it. I absolutely yeah. love the exterior. Simple, also. yeah. And very, I have like a nice. nice, beautiful view. Nice. Yeah, I thought. I'd love for everyone to know your earliest memory of. creating art i was very sort of influenced or inspired by comic books yeah. and that art really fascinated me like right. how are they telling stories through these figures and they have created yeah. a completely new universe and stuff so i would sit down and draw from the comic books like while you started like creating art and finding it fascinating as you said at what point did it come to you that this is now actually a career that happened actually very very late in my life right all throughout my school days i never thought i would pursue art hmm. i was very good at it and <clears throat> to be honest i was making money also you know when you're good at art one uncle or one neighbor will see oh you can draw why don't you draw the logo for my shop You know, right. they're like, "Ha, bacha hai." They'll give you some money, whatever. My parents, like every other middle class parent, were like, "Doctor, bano, engineer, bano." You know, like that. Yeah. So they wanted me uh, to become a doctor. So I was studying yeah. for that. Right. I think when I was actually sitting for my medical entrances is when one of my friends he was like, "Bro, like I've got this prospectus of whatever art college, and I'm going to apply. I'm going to sit for the entrance." And I was like, "What is this? Show me." And I flipped through it. And I was like, "What?" you get to do watercolors illustration this that other man i want to try this too i'll do what i like but i'll also make money off of it how did that come together for you my mom like made me understand the value of money yeah. you know and the importance of saving so with that mentality when i joined art college right from like my first year onward after college i would go and work somewhere hmm. you know I would sit down with my seniors. They would get projects to do murals and paintings or right. uh, installations and things like that. And I was like, "Can I come along?" Yeah. And I was like, "Ah, but we won't pay you, okay?" <laughs> like, right. 
I was like, yeah, but I can like just hang around and help you. People have seen me create those installations on my show, but this is how I was learning. So all that I think helped me understand. Illustration is small scale, so you're making X amount of money, but installation, which requires heavy production or whatever, and can get you X amount of money. So I started building these different streams, doing animation, doing illustration, doing installation, doing video work for brands, you know, or storyboards and things like that. For me, it was, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, and I can also do that. So there were different avenues or streams where money was coming from. So there was never a point in my life where I was completely broke. When your needs are taken care of and you have some money, thanks to my mom again, like save that money or invest it yeah. because that will take care of your wants. You know, you keep doing work, eventually, you know, you will find the right kind of people, you will find the right kind of work. The game changer in my life, which was the television show, right? Yeah. That was not part of the plan, right? right? But when I got that opportunity, I was ready and prepared. Goa winter. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is where I sit in the mornings. Sweet. I want to find out a little bit more from you about like say the industries. Yeah, I think the television space for me, um, no, I felt it was very structured. Hmm. Okay, uh, because hmm. there are too many layers of approvals, you know, you right. think of an idea, concept, you present it, hmm. you know, then it gets approved. Right. There are many people involved in it, you right. know, you have to follow that protocol. In digital space, you own the channel, hmm. you know, everything you do is your responsibility. But it's a lot more work as well, hmm. whether it's marketing, whether it's editing, whether it's shooting, designing content, conceptualizing, all of that. Most creators want to be on TV, but they don't understand that, I feel, television also has a shelf life, hmm. right? Someone else governs your future or like if they feel that you are very popular now and you can work on prime time, they'll give you a slot and you will be on air. Right. If they feel that no, someone else can replace you, you're off. Right. But in digital space, because that's your show, yeah. you know, you can run it for as long as you want. Say there is a student who has 5,000 rupees. What do you think their next move should be? with this 5,000 rupees? Have a plan in place. Yeah. That if you have 5,000 rupees, what do you want to invest this money into? Yeah. Do you want to invest this money into getting some tools that are going to help you? Or this money you want to use for, like I'll give you an example, like this guy, even Mr. Beast here, like yeah. when he started his thing and he was getting uh, brands to uh, like associate with, and a brand said that I will we'll give you $8,000 and he said if you give me $10,000 I'll give it to a homeless guy and that will help this video travel a lot more because yeah. if you're going and giving this much money to someone it'll go viral yeah. and he used it very wisely to help generate more views and money through his YouTube video so you don't need to invest in like say a good camera uh, or good equipment yeah, initially immediately. Yeah. yeah. Right? You can still focus on your story yeah. or your content because like they say content is king. But I feel in today's time community is king. Mm. Right? You have to build on that too. Build an amazing community. When a brand sees your work and they see the kind of engagement that this is the kind of love you are getting from the people. These are the eyeballs that are watching you. You know, yeah. they automatically want to come and work with you and associate with you. So build beautiful. on that community. That's a beautiful way to put it. And if I continue to do this, so you think that there's a big play on consistency here as well, I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah. Right? Because you're also putting out like content very... Yeah, if you have a shop, you have to open the shop every day, right? Beautiful. Yeah. I wanted actually downstairs also like this, but... Right. Uh, 
Yeah, not everyone wants to do it. Place where the magic happens. Amazing. All right, so for Shreyans, I have a really fun exercise. We will be doing blind contour drawing. It's like a warm-up exercise. Uh, I used to do this a lot when I was in design school. Let's get Shreyans in. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, it's a really fun exercise. Like I said, it's blind contour drawing. Yeah. So you look at the subject. In this case, we will be drawing each other's portrait. All right, without looking at the drawing. Right? Okay. So we only That's... look at each other. Okay. And we can't lift the pen. So it has to be in one continuous line. Understood. So I don't look at this, right? Yeah. Shit, this is. So it's, uh... You can just put down the pen whenever, when, wherever. Okay. And then let's go. Okay, wearing a cap might be slightly easier or maybe difficult. Oh, wow. I have already messed this up, right? <laughs> I kind of made the face, I think. Right. That may be your ear. <laughs> okay, I'm going for the cap. And no, no, I've gone out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Piece aside. <laughs> <laughs> masterpiece. Guys, look at the masterpiece. Alrighty. From your experience, what are some of the realities that nobody is discussing that people should know about when you choose to become an artist? Patience, you know, is mm. very, very important. Like, it's the key thing in this. Mm. Like, you have to be patient yeah. because everything takes time. Right. You know, you might think like, oh, I'm doing everything right. Beautiful. Like, I have done uh, whatever it takes. Mm. Why am I not growing? Why my right. art is not selling? Why am I not making money? Right. But everyone's journey and path is different. Yeah. But you got to be patient. Yeah. And do you think that like there is an industry, there is a part of this industry where, which is a good place to start when you start thinking money? Don't go by what is like popular or what right. is doing well and uh, what is making the most money because in the longer run you won't be happy and you won't be satisfied. Mm, got it. For an artist you need creative satisfaction. Yeah. Money is secondary. But we know to function in this world money is important. Correct. Right. Absolutely. So you need to figure, figure that out. What you want to do and how you can make money in that space. Psych! That was amazing. <laughs> really? What a, what a drive, bro. <laughs> Does it feel like it's complete? Like that journey of whatever you aspire for in your 20s? I am describing Yeah, it. yeah, absolutely, exactly. Look at this, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, look at this. Yeah. How does it get any better than this? Yeah, it's amazing, you know, yeah, that yeah. now my work is such that I'm doing things that excite me and I get to live this beautiful life where I get to experience this almost every day, yeah. which is almost like a reset for me. Right. You know, I work, 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 come here, sun sets, it's like a reset. I go back and I sleep peacefully like a baby, like I'm so happy that you know, I managed to do this for me. Yeah. Everyone takes uh, their own time to reach where they want to, yeah. you know. And if you are working hard, working smart, you will reach there. Yeah. You know, like we said earlier, be patient, understand, but prepare yourself. Right. You know, don't sit back, yeah. you know. Keep uh, doing things uh, that can help you become say a, like a better version of yourself because there will be a at any point yeah. for me it happened with that phone call where it was like hey come and meet us you know and I thought animation turned out to be a television show you know so that knock will happen yeah. you have to be ready and prepared is right. all I can say because when that opportunity knocks you should be fully like hey man the armor is on yeah. bring it on even yeah. if I don't know I'm jumping in and I'll figure it out. Only because I have invested in certain things, whether it's my assets or like my investments or three, four different streams that I do, like whether it's my YouTube content and the money coming from there or, you know, my brand deals 
or like the events and workshops I do, you know, there is like a, a, a structure and a plan. I have been wise with what I wanted to do to achieve like this goal. This goal that is right there. The goal is actually to enjoy great sunsets. Yeah. <laughs> happiness <laughs> is the happiness is the key. Yeah. You figure out whether you want long term or short term. Yeah. Beautiful. Salud. <laughs> this was Cheers fantastic. to that man. Cheers. To the sunset. Salud, and this brother. beautiful day. Wow. I'm going to try and keep bringing these incredible conversations with my friends and artists and experts from all over the country and the world to you. You're going to hit that like, share and subscribe button and we are going to make this happen so that you can follow your passion while we figure out the how alongside you. <laughs>